Thanks to you, Coco, asking how I'm feeling now after the last video motivated me to make this update. So, thank you. Airplane. For the first two days after cutting ties with my parents, well, after cutting ties with my mom, because my dad already cut me out, right? For two days straight, I cried, I cried, I cried. I was grieving, I felt so guilty in a way you may find it easier to break up with someone who's clearly mistreating you and if she was really nasty and malicious towards me then i guess it may have been easy to hold on to the anger and cut it and go no nah, i'm not even no nope, i don't even feel any remorse i don't even feel any guilt i don't even feel anything about this to sort of like numb it but does that mean it's better way it isn't because for as long as you have that anger towards that person you're not free you know you're not freeing yourself she's a very loving person very giving and i'm really grateful to have been shown such selfless love and through all the flaws i have i very much see myself that way as well and i'm really grateful to have experienced the way she has given me love it took a bit of grief i don't know if i'm done grieving yet after crying 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 for two days the next day i felt calm a lot of anger that i had in me has shifted two three videos ago where i was really angry and letting out my anger from the childhood towards my mom towards my dad i think that really helped that released a lot of anger that was in me and then having to come to terms with what i did to get to that clarity that yeah this needs to happen my mentality is different now my energy is very different now so whatever you're feeling so anxious about it's amplified because you're bottling in because you let it out it helps you to diffuse it quicker and then there's sense of clarity that kicks in oh now that i've found the calmness i can see things clearly because you release that energy you release that anger so that's where i'm at then the next day I felt really proud. Same with today as well. I felt really proud of myself. I mean, I've come a long way as in I've tried communicating different ways. I was standing up for myself consciously and that was the consequences that I had to face. And because it was a conscious choice and it was my choice, what happened from it, the result, didn't really affect me. Of course, it's upsetting that it didn't go the way of your best scenario but it wasn't enough to sit in that if that makes sense and when i say that i feel really proud after me standing up for myself regardless of this outcome it doesn't mean i didn't doubt myself but what really made it easy to pull myself away from it was recognizing that the self-doubt was actually based off the guilt i felt guilty i felt bad for how my mom was feeling, the situation that my mom was in after what I've done to stand my ground. Because I was able to recognize it so quickly, I was able to drop it and detach from that. When you make decisions and you feel guilty, I think it's really important to question yourself. Why am I feeling sorry? Who am I feeling sorry for? And where is it coming from? I think because we're conditioned to think for others and be considerate of others, to put others first before us especially the loved ones right it's like a double-bladed sword right you're making decision for yourself so you feel right but also there's that sense of guilt behind it and that guilt is this the guilt because i'm not being truthful to myself is it my guilt um, i've been definitely more productive the last couple of days been more lively i mean i am usually a bubbly person but i can definitely feel how much lighter i am the process of grieving what really helped with feeling guilty about the current situation was like what do i value more stand up for myself and facing the consequences of current feelings like grief and the, the sense of guilt or in order to not carry this guilt I choose to silence myself and I choose to be not me. Consequences of that would result in self-doubt, not being able to speak up, not being able to be who I am, and in this case, my own family. Consequences between the two 
this was the consequence that I was willingly and happy to take responsibility of because this is for me. Meaning I'm not going to hold resentment or anger towards anybody else for me choosing something that wasn't for me. So being able to rectify that really helped me stay grounded. Um, and thank you for asking the question. I love it. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'm happy to answer.